to hear from the school directly, we wanted to invite both a lay student and one of our religious student brothers forward tonight to share briefly with you about their experience in the school and the impact it's had in their life. He then gave me a brochure that discussed the different programs at the Dominican School of Philosophy and Theology, and he asked me to think about it. And when I researched it, I was taken aback and amazed. This was an institution that maintained the persistent intellectual tradition of the Catholic Church. And I realized that I'd fallen in love with the truth. I'd fallen in love with Jesus Christ. I'd fallen in love with life in the Catholic Church. So what did I want to do after graduation? It's pretty simple. I just wanted to immerse myself ever more into that truth, love, and life so that I could more easily share it with the rest of the world. As Thomas Aquinas once asserted, the study of truth requires considerable effort, which is why few are willing to undertake it out of love of knowledge, despite the fact that God has implanted a natural appetite for such knowledge in the minds of men. So how did I end up here, standing before you this evening as a Dominican friar, studying at the DSPT? It's real simple. Through the generosity of people like you, God will work miracles with your generosity. My life is proof of that. Never at DSBT have I felt as if I was just another student in a lecture hall. I have found a home. I consider myself very blessed for the chance to be here. I will be forever grateful to the individuals who made that possible. I hope that others like myself in the near future can have the same opportunities. So what kind of other spiritual and intellectual poverty exists in our world that needs charitable correction right now? And who can we trust to do that charitable correction but the Dominicans who for 800 years have been called to do that work in every generation? But above all, we do it because we're trying to help people get to heaven, right? Because apart from that in the end, nothing else much really matters apart from becoming a saint. Help us to preach the gospel in the midst of our troubled world today to help people become the saints that we are called to be. Praise be Jesus Christ now and forever. <laughs>